So, Kun, um, we're excited about the 28th and everything that's going to be happening there uh, with the REM conference. Uh, would you be able to give us some more insight on it? Um, Ziggy, yeah, thank you. Um, just, just briefly, maybe to go back a few steps before we continue talking about the Reward and Emulation Conference. Um, th this basically is an idea that, that, that we started an initiative at Capacity Trust to, how can I put it, to help to train the, the, the HR practitioners, the HR practitioners themselves. So what we find is that HR practitioners are responsible for the training and development of everybody in the company. Um, but to use the old cliche, who trains the trainer? Mm -hmm. um, you know, who, who looks after our profession? And, and how do we upskill ourselves that we can, as HR professionals, add the most value? So, um, as you know, and, and probably as many of, of the clients and participants at the HR forums know, we've been doing this for a couple of years now. We took a bit of a break uh, in the beginning of last year. Um, and we continued towards the end of the year with hosting the HR forum sessions, talking about relevant uh, HR concepts in, um, in terms of, of, of learning and development, organizational wellness, um, reward to a certain extent, remuneration, payroll, um, all the various aspects of HR um, to try to upskill our own HR professionals. HR can be a very lonely field, uh, often a company, unless you're working for a big multinational or a big national company, um, you know, the HR person is sort of alone in the company. They have to do everything from IR to employee relations to, to payroll, um, et cetera. So, so it's also an opportunity for us to get together, to network, to, to check, you know, maybe where your colleagues have moved and shifted and around different uh, companies' environments. So with that background, um, we, we looked at, at uh, tackling reward and remuneration in a bit of a broader format than the normal day to day, uh, you know, sort of monthly breakfast sessions that we had. Uh, we wanted to kick off with, with reward, probably because I know very little about reward. Um, <laughs> and I'm interested to learn myself and to upskill myself in this particular field. So we approached a couple of consultants um, and speakers to come and talk to us about broad trends in terms of reward and i use the word reward because remuneration or payroll as we used to you uh, know the word has become so broad to include um you know benefits and bonuses and and all of this kind of stuff reward has become a strategy and not just an administrative function anymore um so what we've done is we've invited a couple of speakers um allow me to just briefly speak about them um first we asked nasli simodian um to to join us She's currently the head or the president of the South African Reward Association. Um, very, very experienced. I don't want to go into too much detail. She's going to be sharing um, some of her experience with us. Craig Roth, uh, we've worked with uh, at Capacity Trust in the past uh, with him, but he's actually a director at 21st Century. And Craig has consulted to so many organizations, over 500 organizations uh, locally in South Africa, as well as internationally around the world. Um, and also currently we have um, Renzo uh, Tognacci, who is currently the partner and the head of Axiomatic Reward. Um, and, and they have offices in Dubai and South Africa. Um, so he's also consulted with a lot of big organizations. So really we've brought in um, industry experts to come and talk to us about this reward field um, and, and remuneration. So we hope that all of our HR clients can, can attend the conference. Um, the workshop the afternoon, we're going to have a workshop, um, you know, not just having a talk shop as they call it, you know, talk, 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 and we all go home and we forget what we learn, but really like practical application in terms of, you know, how do we communicate reward, how, how the reward communication is evolving in terms of, um, you know, all the benefits that the company gives. Um, this could be particularly relevant, for example, to, to the government uh, organi organizations or parastatals where, where the list of benefits is often, um, you know, dwarfs the private sector, but they can't match for salary. So they tend to lose employees because people move on to companies because they get a larger number than their bank. But when you do the sum and you realize how much you're actually getting in terms of benefits, pensions, uh, medical aid, all of these contributions that parastatals or state-owned enterprises and government institutions offer, um, 
you know, that, that you, it's really quite a competitive package, even though there might not be that many zeros at the end of your paycheck because you're limited in terms of the State Owned Enterprises Act and other, um, you know, acts that guide the, the, the spending of government. So, um, so that's basically, in a nutshell, that. I know it's a mouthful, but I hope to see you all there. It sounds like it's going to be a, a workshop and a conference combined that's going to empower people to be able to keep their talent and to be able to really uh, communicate the, the reward to the staff. So I hope that a lot of our, our clients will be there and those people that are not our clients at all. Um, for us, there's no big benefit in this. It's really just having people upskilled in, in Namibia so that we can all benefit from it. Uh, so I look forward to seeing you there, Kun, and I'm looking forward to seeing our clients and all of our friends out there. Cool. Yep. Thank you, Ziggy. Okay, bye.